We're fucking ready, dude. <sighs> so ready. We're born ready. Dean Dean brought all the gossip. We're so ready. Yeah, I brought a ton. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Dunlap. Oh, is that the new guy? Yeah. This ties into my only gossip. And we're in. Okay. Brandon from SAC. DBE, I believe is the name. Danielle Brandon. It sounds familiar. Top 10, I think, CrossFit. But she's making waves, I think, because, like, who she is, which I think is oh, cool. Oh, you're talking about the CrossFitter yeah. girl. Yeah. Got it. No wonder that name sounds familiar. Yeah. I was like, I didn't know we were. I, th- I was looking my at bad. a guy. Yeah, and my fault. A, a guy, girl name. Yeah, we switched it up. They uh, And it did take me back. And I don't know where I sit on this topic. And I, I feel like you're more a man of decision than I. Mm-hmm. So you'll as soon as I explain it or you've seen it, I th- I feel like you'll draw your line, and I can't always draw my lines. Yep, nope, that's not it. Uh, she yeah, uh, she competed uh, the invitation all the time. Always. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she's from SAC. Yeah, yeah. She uh, CrossFit posted it, and I thought it was her, and she's smiling, but she's throwing the bird at her athlete like profile pic. That's her thing. Cool man, right? Her bir- uh, she's the bird girl. And I follow her on Instagram. <laughs> the bird girl. The bird girl. <laughs> and I'm I follow her on Instagram and I've seen her like Q and A's and shit. And uh she seems incredibly nice. Right? Like not that the, any of this matters, but I'm just setting the tone for those that don't know who she is. Yeah. Like bubbly personality, high voice, seems very like welcoming, answering questions about nutrition and whatever, right? Like your normal kind of content ish creator athlete on crossfit nothing stood out to me like whoa mm-hmm. but i do know like the the internet or i watch some of the 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 semifinals and they keep talking you know they're, they're like branding her they're saying things she's about, a big she's a big she's a big push for she's got extremely popular really quick yeah and her, the last her, couple years her hair is colored that's and, part of it and i know that's like silly now like that was a huge thing when dennis rodman fucking well, she's did it kind of like the the rebel yeah but but like she's not actually in my opinion and i don't know all the details you know what i mean it's not yeah. like she's going out there and, and and taped up the logo she's supposed to wear or some shit she's, you know yeah she's kind of honestly like you know i've met her a few times and we've had something but she's she's kind of like a she she kind of Wants to kick your fucking ass. That's cool. And I got some like of the competitive. She's kind of hardcore. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But she's like, she's like not as bubbly as some other crowd, like a China Cho. Sure. She's not China Cho. Sure. She's, she's not a little a, bit more like, oh, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna fucking put your face in the dirt. Yeah, I, which I like. It's just competitiveness. But she's not like calling out other chicks, saying like, I'm gonna whoop your ass. You know? Like, no, no. I no, guess no. like how they branded her was that she's like this next level Dennis Rodman type shit. Skips yeah. an NBA playoff game to go be on WWE. Like, that, she ain't doing that. No. Right? She's just more hardcore than the typically squeaky clean CrossFit athlete, perhaps. And yeah. this is a whole other topic we can dive into another day, but, like, the tie-in between Christianity and CrossFit's kind of weird. Christianity and fitness is kind of weird. I don't know where any well, of that... Well, there's a huge thing with that. Like, you know, faith fit. Faith yeah. fitness thing is, like, massive. Now, you market. Click massive on, market. You click on half the CrossFitters, you're half the bodybuilders in the world, and it says, like, God... You know what that is? I like, don't. And I'm being dead serious? <laughs> no, I believe you. <laughs> That's what happens when ma- mostly white people are into something. Uh, for sure. <laughs> it plays a role. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, serious. Yeah, probably. Like, yeah. that's just kind of... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, that, there's, that that those lines you know, tend to bleed together pretty heavily. It. And, like, lifting weights is a very southern thing, like a Texas thing. Christianity is still obviously very strong down there compared to maybe somewhere like Northern California or something. And that's all beside the point. So they posted this profile pic of her flipping the bird and with the, the cutest little smile on, right? Like, it's not like she's fucking... Again, it's not like she has her, her, her competition's name on the... She's not flipping off nobody, Right. <laughs> And I'm reading the Facebook comments. Yeah. And I swear oh we were in... Ni- mistake one. No, I loved it. Yeah, I yeah. absolutely loved it. <laughs> I swear we were in like 1930. People are acting like she's El Diablo. Are you serious? Yeah, they're like CrossFit. This is the most unprofessional thing. This is your branding. This is the image you're bringing. Like, wow. there's This is a family sport. I'm like, dude, sh- it's not like... Oh, man, I didn't see any of that. Dude, That's going- surprising, though, because usually CrossFit... That was the whole roots of CrossFit was this counterculture... Like, I'm going to lift to the song Disturbed on my YouTube compilation of me doing awful snatches. So that's what I brought up to Jim. <laughs> awful snatch, Not at regular snatches. <laughs> that's what I brought up to Jim. I said, like, one of their side competitions, and I know someone out there is like, well, this wasn't sanctioned by CrossFit. I don't know if it was or wasn't. But you, like, win a gun when you win the thing. 
Like the yeah, yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? Yeah, like uh, something that had to do with uh, Castro. Like, yeah, yeah, he won like a Glock or some right. shit. Right, which is cool, man. Do your thing. And I'm not here to go deeper into gun laws. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Y- You know what I mean? Like, you can give me a gun, not knowing my age, when I do awful snatches for time, mm-hmm. but I can't throw a bird smiling. Yeah. And not again, the, not saying guns are bad and the bird is bad. I'm just I know, saying, I like, saying, yeah, if you're on this rebel shit, like you said, yeah. We're not going to a commercial gym. We're going to go to Dean's backyard and throw hay bales. That's mm-hmm. CrossFit. Yeah, yeah, we used to be. Right, yeah. For yeah. sure we've changed. But yeah. yeah, you literally went to a ranch in fucking Santa Cruz and you're throwing dirt yeah. around. Yeah, yep. And I'm not allowed to say fuck when I'm lifting a piece of hay? Well, that was like kind of the thing, too, though. Like, that was part of it, too. Like, there was cussing, like, on the on the games kind yeah. of a little bit early on. But now it's gotten so corporate now with you got the monster, big sponsorship yeah. monster. You got That's a whole other topic I want to dive into. Oh, the monster thing is, like, I mean, that's why you guys got guys like, you know, Fit Aid and other people are, like, kind of like, yeah, they're there, but they're not, like, putting up these, you know, quarter million dollar sponsors anymore right. because you know now you're competing with monster when i know the 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 bosses have changed and that's what we'll dive into big topic but like uh f- six years ago five years ago i worked with reebok a lot and i was with them for six or seven years and and there's this whole like anti-sugar campaign anti-chemical campaign and now we got monster run the show <sighs> look i'm all for my hey, fucking hey, sign me hey, up hey, hey aspartame is in my middle name <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, bro. I sniff it when I wake I up. I stay on that fake sugar. Yeah. And then more and more studies are coming out saying that no. actually fake sugar is no, probably there's, not that bad for you. No, there's nothing going on. There's nothing going on. It's all great. Yeah. It's I'm fine. not saying it's good for you, but it's definitely not bad for you. Yeah. It's like nicotine, right? It's not going to well, give you cancer, but it's <laughs> no. I don't know. Well, not, nic- I don't know. Well, not exactly. I'm saying like like nicotine <laughs> nicotine's not what's giving you cancer. It's true. It's the tobacco. True. Where nicotine is a highly addictive chemical. You that may have some other maybe not great things, but it's not the chemicals in a cigarette. Cap- yes. Yeah. yeah. Nicotine you stretched. And, nicotine and caffeine <laughs> are pretty close aligned. You stretched, but I'm with you. Uh, yeah, we're in our Discord. Shout out our Discord, 50% Facts. Uh, My boy Chili's in there. He's an old Twitch homie. And... Uh, Someone asks, like, how many megs of caffeine you take a day or something, and everyone's, like, putting it in there. Like, oh, dude, I'm taking 300, and I feel this and that. And then Chili, this super smart football playing kid from college, comes in. He's like, I believe, and he writes this nerdy, uh, fuck you, Chili. He writes this nerdy-ass thing, like, uh, well, and he, I think he's joking, but he's like, uh, caffeine's basically the legal government version of crack, and they're just trying to get you all this. I'm like, oh, dude, you're calling me a cocaine addict because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love caffeine. Now, well, you're, now you're attacking me. Yeah, yeah, uh, well, that's what it felt like. To draw the line between caffeine and nicotine um you can kill plants and bugs with nicotine and you can't with caffeine so okay. just you just, can't that's fair with nic- yeah nicotine interesting. is interesting nicotine is like the original insecticide no i just assumed that you could kill anything with enough caffeine i'm sure caff- i'm sure both is not great but the beside the point monsters running the show monsters running the show where five years ago they were not allowed to Oh, they're like this is monster owned by Pepsi or yeah, Co- all no, that. Coke owns, oh, Coke owns like rain. Yeah, but it's all the same. No, yeah, and I think Monster makes rain. I think it's all the fucking same. Yeah, I don't know. And then and then yeah, like you're talking about, like are we going down the WWE route where we're fucking saying fuck, giving me a Glock when I do snatches and I'm lifting in the dirt in a warehouse with hot heat, mm-hmm. or are we trying to become the PGA Tour? I think that I still I still don't think they know. No, they don't. And that's what a lot of the comments too were on branding and stuff. And and I don't know where I decide. So oh, like, they're in such a weird place right now with like identity. I feel like, like they it's kind of, so fucked up. I feel like they always they had some branding for sure, but they like never. It's all confusing because a lot of the comments were like, "How does a professional sport do this and this and that and this and that?" But like, they're a company. They're a business. They're not a sport. Basketball isn't a league. The NBA is an association in which people play basketball under, mm-hmm. right? This is just one event. This has been hairy the whole time mm-hmm. because a company, it's the only other thing we talked about is pro wrestling is similar to this, mm-hmm. where like the association is the sport, is the guy who pays you, right? There's no mm-hmm. union. There's nothing going on. And maybe the UFC, the UFC is a little bit of a stretch, but it's still the same thing. The UFC is MMA. MMA is the UFC. And one guy pays you. They can call it championship fighting, ultimate, whatever, but it's not an association and there's not a, a union protecting the athletes. So mm-hmm. this whole muddled of relationships already fucked in mm-hmm. CrossFit and in those sports, yeah. mm-hmm. business-wise. Is it right for them, quote-unquote right, uh, for them to post her flipping the bird? I don't know. Right Again, from my personal standpoint, 
we run our own Instagrams. We do whatever the fuck we want. Even the company one, you know, like it's whatever. I think the bird is like the most mild thing in 2022 that's going on on the internet. Well, they got bigger problems than the bird. They got half their athletes are just testing positive for all those kinds of shit. So that's the, the thing. It would, so it's I, a, I, a distraction, maybe. I don't know. We talked about it on here, and I don't want to call nobody out, and I, I have no ill will towards any human on the planet, but dude pops for steroids last year in the games gets a 12 or the year before that gets a 12 month or 24 month ban and then crossfit posts him this year saying welcome back like oh yeah and it's also all this bullshit like like what is that was the ricky gerard yeah yeah and it's like all this shit about like uh they did like a whole piece on him right like it's like a comeback story yeah what is he overcoming cheating i mean yeah you don't he still has like leftovers from all the no, shit he was he taking. He for sure has leftovers, and two, like it's not like he overcome fucking like cancer, even depression. Yeah, it's no, yeah nothing. Yeah. He fought against nothing. He it's stopped. A, it was a weird move. He pulled a needle out. It made no fucking sense. Like, Talk, it like, didn't it, make any sense. And that was like, yeah, already like four months ago. I'm like, dude, what are we celebrating? No, you're. It's a. It's a disaster. And, like, and people see- underneath were more positive. Then they were the bird picture. Unbelievable. And I'm reading all these comments because I love a little juicy story. And all the comments are like, yeah, Ricky, welcome back, dude. S- such a hard work. Glad you're back. Go, Ricky. Go, Ricky. Blow Where homegirl th- throws a symbol, a, a finger symbol, and they're freaking out about bad branding. Points in extremity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe your pointer doesn't about, work and, well. And they're worried about branding. That's funny. But are, they're <laughs> not the ones that are worried. It's the people that are worried. Yeah. My point is that uh, CrossFit's branding is confused. And even more so, the sociology or the the their fan base is confused that yeah. they're cheering for Ricky. A couple people said, "Oh, this is kind of weird," but the ma- the majority for sure, over fifty percent of people were pro Ricky here, and drastically over fifty percent were anti DB here with the bird. Dude, it it's the weirdest thing. Like, they, they, there's a there's obviously some confusion on like I don't know who's doing the marketing shit there. Who, who knows? But it's like, <laughs> I mean. Why they would ever think it was a good idea to, like, make a comeback. You don't see the UFC making a comeback story for Anderson Silva for getting popped for steroids or, or uh... They haven't even given B- Bones b- Jones. Bones another fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like, because it, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Like, you cheated. You got yeah. caught. Made up some shit. You can post him when he back. wins and say, hey, man, you won. But you can't say, like, wow, you're the hardest worker here because of this. Give him his credit, yeah, for, yeah. like, maybe, like, he did his, did his thing. Yeah. Came back, like, followed the rules. He's just following the rules. Oh, hopefully. You know, that, yeah, those rules are dog shit too. Even certain bodybuilding federations and places that are tested, you know, drug free, quote unquote, they have like a thirty six month be drug free rule. You know, yeah. they're like, well, what does that mean? You know, especially bodybuilding, where like physiology, physiology, fuck, physiologically, steroids are going to build more muscle even when you get off them long term. Yeah. Strength and stuff, you can maybe argue that it'll go closer to normal. But I, I, one, there's not that many studies, and two, who knows what fucking Ricky was taking? You know, like EPO yeah. stuff. Again, way more money, way more eyes on Lance Armstrong, and he's still never been caught. He came out and said he was on shit. You know, yeah. so now yeah. we're worried about a little CrossFitter. Every motherfucker, I'd say 85, 90 percent of those people take something, probably, whether they know it or not. Well, the problem is the problem with the CrossFit situation is that they will never be. Like by the masses, I don't think they'll be fully accepted as like legitimate until there's a third party doing the testing, like a USADA right. or somebody. And they say but USADA, they refuse to give right. that up. No, they do it themselves and say USADA and WADA. You can't throw those terms out there. They say we follow those standards. Well, that yeah. doesn't mean anything. No, yeah. it doesn't. But they're, not, they're running the <laughs> test and decide to make it public or not. Well, yeah, because they can't. If, I truly, and I hate saying this, but like I truly think that some of your like, your biggest faces in the sport would probably. No, for sure. Be be fucked. And Same be with out. the UFC. Same with the UFC. But it's like, do I personally really care? Not really. If they're all, like, it's kind of like a Lance Armstrong situation yeah. where everybody's kind of taking. It. I'm choosing not to do that. I don't think you should promote that. Yeah. But like, if that's what these high athletes are doing, and that gets kind of like the NFL. Like me personally, I know a lot of people diff- have a different opinion on this, but like, I don't really give a shit. Yeah, I don't either. I really don't. I, but I like, care about the morals of the lying way more. The lying is the problem. Yeah. And the in the, the in integrity and the, the not in, in, exactly and all that. Um, that's but where that's, my boy. But they're just doing. Came. But they're just doing what they're basically what CrossFit's letting them do. Right. Wait, and, so and, like, how do you blame them if you want to compete? And what? Why not go like IFBB route in that case and just say like, yeah, we don't really test. You say that once, and now you never have to talk on the topic again, ever. Yeah. I that's literally mm-hmm. how you do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. It's like tough. these dudes are fucking juicy, bro. 
They're eight packed out, eating 5,000 calories, training seven hours a day. Actually training. I quote unquote train two hours a day, but I'm resting for 60% of it. Yeah. These guys are getting the fuck after it. And they're still my size. Well, yeah, they're snatching 300 pounds and they're running, you know, the, sub five minute miles. Yeah, they're five nine, 200 pounds. Yeah. They literally look like me right now. And like that kind of I'm, training. I'm eating 1,000 calories. I got to weigh out my beef jerky to get to this size. <laughs> and these motherfuckers are going ham. And, and I'm not the best athlete in the world, and I'm not the highest, best genetics in the world, but neither of these guys, if they were, they'd be playing pro baseball or pro football. Yeah. yeah. True enough. You're, yeah. Not, you're not going to a sport where you come in 10th, make no cash, and you have to train for 364 other days before you make cash again. Yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> and like I don't, and I know like a lot, like what a lot of these like sponsorship deals are, like they're just not making any money. No, the top one, it's the same as like powerlifting or anything, right? The top person, it's crazy, might get paid some shit. Like Noble might send you some like a bag of shoes. Yeah, yeah. If you're the average, you're gonna get shit unless your Instagram's popping. Yeah, then they're doing their own deals yeah. on the back. Yeah, but that's one like, hundred percent something else. Like I can think of like like the top one of like a top five guy in the sport. Like I've seen their contracts yeah. with like Nike and stuff like that, and like these are top five guys, yeah. and like they're. They're kind of just like, oh. What's top 10 win cash at the games? Because w- top well, one's a mil, right? I don't think it's anything. Yeah. And you get like 2K top per three, event win. The only people get money. Yeah. And top one's a mil. Well, that's nice. But that's. No, it's 500,000. Oh, well, then get fucked. Maybe they change it to now a million. Now you're broke. Maybe they change it to no, a million. No, you might be right. People always just like make their event. I don't think it's a million. I don't blame marketing because I'm part of marketing where they say like $2 million prize pool. But then, you know, it's separated out a million ways. So it might be a million prize pool and number one chick number one dude get 500k oh like we're giving away like yeah, yeah, a million yeah, yeah. dollars yeah 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 and it's like and that oh, might yeah, have confused because, me yeah yeah i get what you're saying total pot yeah. is 2.845 but they're they're worse than the fucking olympics you know they got uh eight different age classes and this you know what i mean like you're not going to win a mill but the 45 year old champion's also going to win you know something so they're saying this went up from last it year. went up three hundred and thirty thousand dollars from last year. Inflation. <clears throat> That's six percent. The two individual elite divisions will each be awarded three hundred and ten thousand, which is a ten thousand for the number one. Yeah. Oh, that's less than both of us thought. Get fucked. <clears throat> Yeah, because then they got to pay all the teams. For they sure. got to pay the yeah. masters. So for, yeah, the first kids place now. Oh, here we go. First place is three ten. Second place is one twenty. Twenty five k. Yeah, for tenth, tenth place. Yeah, twenty five k for tenth place. Come on. Not gonna keep you in protein bars or whatever. No, no, that's not even paying the trip to fucking Madison. Wow, twenty five grand would get you to Madison. I mean, you got to mm. stay there for like ten days. Well, you it, got to bring your coach. You bring, you know what I mean? Like, shit. No, you're probably talking five of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah probably least. five of it for sure. Yeah, go on. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're right. Only person that's getting a, a free hotel room is probably uh, what's his name? Uh, Dave Castro, <laughs> the top guy. What's his name? But, I don't have oh. a brain fart. Matt Frazier? No, no, no. The new the top guy. Oh, the new, new Matt Frazier? The new CEO. I don't even know who that is. Oh, the, the new, owner. You know, no, no, no. Uh, this, the new kid on the block. The he's, Liver he's King. From, he's from out here. Liver King. He's from out here for a while. Then he moved. Um, he was like in Lodi. Oh. The main guy with the mullet. Oh, that kid's from here? He was. I know what you're talking at about. At one point, yeah. yeah. Bro, I swear I had the mullet first. Can we, <laughs> can we double down on that? <laughs> uh, like 2016, 15. Yeah, the mullets. The mullets gotten a lot of steam. I just went to a yeah. I went to a powerlifting meet in L.A. last week. Thirty percent mullet. Yeah. Swear. What the fuck is that? It's cool. No, it's cool. It was yeah. cool when I did it. Now it's fucking it maybe a little. The bloom may be off the mullet for a little bit. That blew my mind. Yeah. I yeah. swear, thirty percent mullet. Now it's the uh, like the what's the what's the other one where it's like a shaved top and then the mullet in the back. You know what I'm talking about? Like the head's like totally shaved. The skullet. Like a, like, a, like a cul-de-sac? <laughs> like fucking... <laughs> it's like... Uh, I've seen this new thing now like the guys are doing where it's like literally like a buzz buzz cut and then just like uh, long hair like a back. Like a real beaver tail. Like a like, legit beaver tail. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, so really? UFC, there was a guy on the UFC card that had one uh, this weekend. A lot of guys, yeah. I mean, I get it. I don't... This is, this is going to sound terrible, but I'm going to say it anyway. I don't understand how it happens that people who are just like not born attractive... Do things to make themselves less attractive to the masses. I would go that route, though. <laughs> yeah, it, wor- it works for yeah, you. Yeah, I think it does. You gotta, you gotta give us some wow factor if you're ugly. Yeah, that's why. I why get do you ta- think that's I have, why, why, why I get tattoos? Why I have a mullet five years ago? <laughs> yeah. You both look just. Yeah, fine. you give them the that's wow not, factor. Yeah, I don't think that you're in the category that I'm talking. You peacock about. at them a little bit. 
<laughs> it, but, but you, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, yeah, exactly. You gotta yeah. get loud. Yeah. You gotta get loud. You gotta get their attention somehow. Our personalities are so dry. We need to do some shit with our hair. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't know. What? Well, um, oh, yeah, she's the Johnny Cash of CrossFit. Yeah, apparently. But even yeah, and Johnny Cash was very religious, and yeah. he also flipped the bird. I mean, right. well, that's, you know, that's CrossFit. But that's yeah. my Re- point. Religion and flipping birds. Yeah. <laughs> but that era is so different. That's I think my they should point. change their slogan to that: CrossFit, religion, and, and flipping bird, birds. And birds. Well, we know who made like obviously who made CrossFit and religion cool was like Rich Froning, right? Like that's his whole yeah. that's his whole thing. Yeah, they're like very he's very religious, very Christian, it's and very I, Tennessee. And you know? I get it. I remember being a kid, right? Because I was raised Catholic and you know very like old school stuff. And then I would watch Sunday football, and everyone's like crossing themselves in the end zone. I remember you know being seven, eight years old. Asked my dad like, "What's going on? Like, why are they praying in the end zone?" And he's like, "Oh, they just go to church like we do." I'm like, "Oh." You know, like that's still and they, common, and they think that some, no, the the Lord gave them six outs, points, for yeah, sure. yeah, <laughs> exactly. Which is well, the the the, the, the epitome of self delusion, the in my mind, the you know sp- high level sports, and I guess it's all high level sports will have this like huge religious background to it because I, just, they, I think they just you know reflect on like where maybe like their humble beginnings to where they are now where they can like buy whatever the hell they want like there has to be a higher power yeah or grateful or like rather i actually uh if you break it down into want to do like sociology or psychology i'm all for it because it to me it's a way of being selfless and not being egotistical Mm. um regardless of whether you believe in god or not it's kind of like you're saying like they're saying like this isn't all me yeah right rather than rather than the opposite side would be like fuck you all i did this all on my own nothing helped me no one helped me fuck you some of them would say, oh, and they do. They thank God. They thank their family, um, which is cool in that sense. Um, but I, I do think the relationship's still different, higher level cr- uh, Christianity from like cross and bodybuilding. Cause, and maybe I'm only going by Instagram, but literally, like, th- there'll be like a paragraph about God on, on like CrossFitters Instagram. You know what I mean? Which, it's like, oh, no, that's just, a, that's just trembling. That means God's on Instagram <laughs> reading your profile. Who you think? <laughs> Is that virtue signaling? I think it's virtue signaling. Uh, it could be. It could, could be. be for sure. It could, could be, be loss of identity. There could be a lot of things if we want to psych us. Well, everybody, well, it's all, there's analyze these motherfuckers. And we all know this, too. It's like, man, like you got to niche down nowadays. Like, right. That's how you get a following. Yeah. Right? yeah. Is, so, it, like, is it, a, is it a, a marketing ploy? Well, you gotta, yes, <laughs> yeah. it is, yeah. dude. Because yeah. yeah. you got to like think about that one dude. Remember that kid that was like uh, that had all the face tats and he would go around and just like mess with people. He was like on... Uh, TikTok kid? No, it was before all that. It was like on, like, you would see his stuff like on uh, Vine and, uh, like, uh, Hoodstar. I'd have to see. Was it? Was it? World Star? World Star. Hood Star. Yeah. Jeez, I'm getting old. Uh, What's it all on the YouTubes? Hood, uh, hood videos. I was it, hood videos. Yeah, hood videos. Is it, is it too late for a World Star knockoff called Hood Star? Probably. Uh, e bombs world type shit. And, it, and he was just going, so like, you would like, see money on that. He would go in like slap people on the street or whatever. He's like the original kid that started all that yeah, crap. Yeah. And then now he like that all he went to like all his crap and now he's like this big religion push. Now he's rap now he's a rap now he's a rap uh Christian rapper. So he's going like trying to go to churches now, going on ins- going like that's his new personality. What's the, uh, this is taking us down the deep end, but talk about rebrands. Uh who sings the Chappelle rap song? It's not Chappelle's rap song, but it's the intro is it Dead Prez? Oh, uh no no no. Um Oh shit! I think it's Dead Presidents. Is that the rap group? No, you're thinking of it's the one guy. I don't know. I thought it was a group. Either way, it, or Chappelle like features this song a lot in their raps and the shows. I saw them live like three months ago, and they've turned. Uh, they don't rap hip hop anymore. They rap fit pop, fit fit hop. What's fit hop? So me and Bart are sitting there just laughing our asses off because they're like literally rapping about like kale shakes and shit. Oh. And like spitting bars on fucking taking your vitamin D. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. People come. Yeah. People go to that. Well, so it was like a festival, you know. So like Nas was You're at forced night to listen to. Yeah. It. So I'm watching him during the day. But. I was thinking of Most Deaf. No. So what? I don't think it's actually Most Deaf, but they're homies, obviously. I think you're right. I think it is Dead Prez. Yeah, it's Dead Prez. Dead Prez. Yeah. There's three of them doing there, and they're in like workout jumpsuits, and they play like their main song or whatever. Hip hop. So hip. clearly they sell like Herbalife or something. They must, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it's what rough it felt out like. there for a musical pimp, man. Dude, that's what it felt like. It felt like they were about to rap me about shakes. Oh, yeah. Oh, and you got to buy our brand, Dude. Arbon. Yeah. And they were all fit. It was cool. You know, like they probably do work out. And like, that's cool to like spread that message. But I don't know if that's connecting. Rap and used to be about a different kind of vitamin D. This yeah. is, is true. What I'm saying. Yeah. This is true. We need to go back to the old days. Old days. <laughs> the, 
the niche within the niche now is like where you like we're, yeah. Then it's gonna be the niche within the niche within the niche, right? To like make any money in like any industry. You'll be scrolling around TikTok, and obviously it depends on your algorithm. But I'm in some like apparel and marketing stuff as well as fitness. And there's like yeah, straight apparel brands that are like turning Jesus crosses into barbells. Hell yeah, on Jesus. the T. <laughs> yeah, and like even that, right? Like I don't necessarily consider myself religious anymore, but like even when I I was into it when I was a kid, you know, and like I'm not wearing a, like a that. <laughs> like I'm not like the uh, I, that's why I think it's like an identity thing. Like I'm not yeah. tying my identity so closely to that. Yeah. Or even with the gym, like with our power, like that's yours guys too. Like you 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 you'll wiggle around the fitness space but we're not, all your apparel is just not a barbell. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? We just made our first tee ever with a plate on it. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. I mean, we didn't do that for the first six years. Yeah, that's my, five yeah. years. You but, know? But oh, so you're like, saying we're ahead of you? Is what you're saying? Yeah, we yeah. opened that ass. We yeah, uh, we sold really out. We, that. Sold, out <laughs> we sold out. We sold out earlier. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> we also uh, we but, have pff, and like flaming bleeding we skulls. We soon. Doing. Neither do I. Uh, also, that stuff wasn't like cool again yet. Either. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean, yeah. like there was a time in like CrossFit early days of like weightlifting. Like it's like very, very simple as it right. gets. Yeah. It's like that's all people wanted. Yeah, that was uh, just the times too. It was right? just the times. Yeah. It was like everything was like was only the check. It was tiny. Now all of a sudden, like the big graphics are getting yeah. cool again with just nostalgia. Right. With like you know, nineties, eighties has always kind of been in, in cool for like the last twenty years. It's yeah, kind yeah. of been cool, but now it's like getting more amplified. And it is. It's cool for creativity and, and all it, that. But. Yeah, it is. And, and and again, like even even ours. I don't know if you saw it. I'll show you. But uh, like you push in. Uh, like I'm pushing into yeah nostalgia and pushing into like not memeing the plate, but like it's so loud. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Where. I understand why people bought it, or the, the the cross, and the barbell. Excuse me, because it's like it is an identity thing. Like I love the gym so much, and I love this so much. I'm gonna wear this so much. Yeah, for there's sure. like nothing. I don't know. Maybe it's just the type of human I am. Yeah. Well, we just did a shirt where it was like literally it was the like those tattoos with the dagger through the heart. Yeah, remember that sick. one? I saw it. Yeah. And it was a barbell that was yeah. shaved down into like a dagger. Yeah, yeah but like, like that's very It is, but like again, I think but I think it I is on brand, but you guys like snuck it in there too. It looks cool. It looks yeah, like a it, sick American traditional tat. Yeah. I yeah. I don't know. I don't know where any of this is going, but I think we're talking about uh, having fun with designs uh, nowadays. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where it stands, but I think you flip the fucking bird and if you're going to give a Glock out cuz then the all the comments were about how Dave Castro would have let this fly, but I'm like, that's the dude that handed the Glock out. That's the and dude also, that would say like, "Fuck." Do you fucking know Castro? Right. Yeah. When if if you, I know Castro. Yeah, I don't. But I've seen all his interviews and shit. That dude's dropping f bombs. Like, if you can say "fuck," saying "fuck" on like a professional is a lot more aggressive than her a blonde chick smiling with the bird out. First off, yeah. If anybody's not into like the the middle finger thing, maybe like the original owner. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, like maybe he would have been like, oh, I don't really like that, you know, because yeah. we're trying to like cater to like uh, soccer moms and. But then he's old scoping ladies. out young ladies on his private plane, so he gets no take. Wait, we're talking about the image here. <laughs> we're talking about the image, not the person, the real person. It's those type, but the, it is those type of people. I feel like it. Obviously, that's fucking broad brushing the shit. But it's the person that's gonna yell at me for saying the word fuck on a YouTube channel that's actually doing some dark shit in the dark or yeah. behind. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, well, you're expecting you people to be like consistent in their beliefs and their actions, and of course, that's yeah, of course. never, never yeah. the case. Yeah, my my external morals are similar to my internal morals. Yeah, <laughs> where you know. Yeah, well, when you put a camera in someone's face, yeah, it's hard to get the real one. Right. Yeah. Sometimes flipping back to something you and I were talking about earlier, Mike, before before we got on on air, you you were down in the meet in at in L. A. Oh yeah, Barbell Brigade. Talking about branding. Yeah, and like yeah. <laughs> Because like, there's like very little consistency of branding right now. Yeah, that's why I brought back, uh, and it's probably similar to the games, although I haven't been to the games in a while. Uh, maybe it's a little different now that Noble's in the thing. What I noticed uh, is both like uh, equipment style, like um, knee sleeves, wraps, belts. And I know you're like fringe into powerlifting. Um, but even like shirts, singlets, I found like you, there's no majority. And it was a big meet. Like, it wasn't big in terms of, like, money or prestige, but, like, it was at Barber Brigade, and they always bring a hype crowd and, and, and always have a bunch of lifters, two-day meet. Um, I found, yeah, no consistency or no, like, monopoly in the game, which I found very interesting. Not even the, the not even Barber Brigade? Probably not. Like, if you had to choose a winner, but it's not majority, it's not over 50%. And it was at their gym? Yeah. 
Which is like I, I think that's part of why, and, and same similar with weightlifting and CrossFit. Part of what makes the sport cool is that the communities outreach your own gym. So like Barbara Gay is obviously a gold standard in powerlifting; has been for ten years. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people may live in like San Diego, and their goal, like uh, the the vacation or the coolness, is to go compete at barbell. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it's not always just for in-house shit. Mm-hmm. So I think that played a role in it. But uh, yeah, I was just so surprised at how many different brands I saw. Some I knew, some I didn't know, some was whatever. Um, compared to probably, you know, eight years ago. You saw three brands. Yeah. Yeah, two to three brands. Yeah. I wonder if CrossFit's similar now. Oh, dude, no. It's or like, anything, or weightlifting. Well, the, it's so funny with CrossFit, dude. Like, there really isn't any brands yeah. anymore. It was Reebok. It's weird, man. It's so fucking weird. It's hard. I think about this all the time, right? So it's like, you know, you got your staples, right? You like, guys are a staple. For yeah, sure. we definitely consider ourselves a staple. You are. And then, like, I would also used to consider, like, my buddy uh, Todd at Project X a staple, but, like, he oh, yeah. kind of, like, got out of it a little I bit. I met him uh, when they first started. Yeah. But I he went was, to, like, uh, some weird. Um, it was, like, a big ish competition for the time, but it was in the Bay. I forgot what it was called. It was, like, on, like, the Richmond side of stuff, on the water. And he just was, like, one dude in a booth. This yeah. is, like, 2011. Yeah. Yeah, a little Todd. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Yeah, it was cool. Um, but like, dude, like, then you got like now you got like the Noble. Yeah. Uh, but as far as like, like Life is RX, I guess is like a brand. Yeah. That does. Th- born there's primitive. like these like little yeah born printed for like but that's like women's compression. Yeah, it's like it's like Cross's version of Lulu. And they've been of. around forever. Yeah. And you got Virus. 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 Yeah. I saw an okay amount at the powerlifting. Yeah, a lot like of virus. Well, they they kind of do like mostly that stuff yeah. too, right? Not a lot of people are buying. The people you see wearing virus t shirts are usually the athletes, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's the compression stuff, right? Yeah. Like that's. But like as far as like 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 lifestyle lifestyle ones, like someone like tries to start one, it goes for like a month or two, and then it dissolves. Yeah. Like that, it's like it, to get a staying brand in CrossFit right now is like it like it doesn't really. It's fucking weird. No, I think you guys are top tier barbell brigade like because even at, at the powerlifting meet and you guys would never i don't want to speak for you but you're not your niche isn't powerlifting your niche is lifting weights yeah but, we, but within that it's weightlifting cross yeah we sponsor like a ton of power meets people that reach out but yeah. we're not like having a we don't have like a big presence yeah it's not like your or danny's background per se no but but there was a bunch of t's there i saw t's in the crowd that were having the kilos yeah barbara brigade which is kind of similar like opposite of y'all they started powerlifting but it's just kind of a barbell deal yeah. you know there's like weightlifters like rocket or yeah. whatever the fuck um other than that there's like yeah there's no like brand brand reebok yeah. reebok did good for a while like because there was nothing else but i think they tried to make stuff for lifters it, it, and obviously i was sponsored and now i'm not so i can speak more freely uh not that i ever hated any of their stuff but like they just went the wrong route with some of their looks you know it was like a little yeah. corny but they were trying at least they put the effort and the money to support the lifters needs Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they I made mean, a great wa- they made a great weightlifting shoe. No, I my weight. I mean, the legacies are great. No, they're amazing, and I know uh, even like top top weightlifters, they're like top two in people's eyes. The Romelio ones and yep. then the legacies, everyone loves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the legacies and the yeah, Lom- I think yeah. I think of the twos, the Romelio twos, uh, whatever. Like the basic, those are the normal last ones. Yeah, yeah. those are the yeah, popular those, ones. The, I had those, and I have the legacies both. They're very yeah. similar shoe, yeah. and that's like that's why they both work. If anything, honestly, like the. The legacy might be built a little bit better. Yeah, mine's lasted eight years now. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're I'm nice. Slamming around, but yeah, you, you wonder. And Noble obviously was like bred, you know, nurtured through Reebok into just a CrossFit no. brand. So. I don't even. Yeah, I don't even want to get started on Noble. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, talk about the Christianity tie. Like that's in there. All their athletes are the ones I'm talking about. Yeah, I every just, Noble athlete says like, and I, I look. It might sound like I'm coming off like anti-Christian. I'm definitely not. But it's just like a weird thing I see all the time. Yeah, it is. It's like I said, man. It's just like people just niche down and they just get these really hardcore, yeah. dedicated fans. That's what I'm bad at. And markets, and then that's how you like. That's like if you're an individual, if you're like an influencer, individual influencer, you're not like a part of like a bigger brand. Yeah. You know, like you guys got like a little bit more going on. But if I'm just like Dean athlete, CrossFitter guy, <laughs> like I'm probably like going hard in like as many things as possible people can identify yeah. with to like you that's know. that's why i'm bad at because like at some point it starts to feel fake to me oh because it is like i was talking to kyle about it on the we just road trip down there and i was like like and you know and the homies know like i love video games but on my youtube channel i'm coaching people and lifting and messing around trying to be entertaining and educational i can't m- mention the amount of times i've mentioned 
it's on one hand the amount of times I mentioned Apex, which is the game I play the last two years. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But if I was smart at branding, I'd quadruple down on a gaming deadlifter. Yeah. And I'd probably brand better, but it just seems corny to me because, like, I'm literally in the middle of a deadlift session. I'm not going to bring up my kill-death ratio in Apex. But guys do that, and not because I think they care. They do that purely to sell shit, and that's what I don't like. You know what I mean? Yeah, you should just start making shirts that just have like Apex characters doing right. like the power lifts. That's literally what I would do, and yeah, like it would, we we'd sell more shirts. Oh, dude, yeah, you'd sell a ton of those. Yeah, and I would never get sued. Let's start a let's start a side brand, just gaming, and just do like all popular gaming characters doing like weightlifting and powerlifting down. and shit, and we'll yeah. call it something. There was one. I don't want to rip people. We'll talk off. There was already one. <laughs> they were doing super. They're yeah. doing superheroes, and, and we've talked about it. Many oh times. yeah, like, there's a lot of those, but no one's yeah. like niching no, no, down no, no. hard no, to true, like. True. Oh, this is a Daisy character. Yeah, that's what it's <laughs> like. Yeah, but it would probably do well. <laughs> but it's just one licensing, and I don't want to go down that route of being illegal, like most brands out there. Yeah. And then two, I want it to like normally come up because it is honestly just something genuinely I like. Mm-hmm. Like, because when you start to talk about it that much, it feels like you're fake liking it to sell shit. Yeah. Like, how much are you really into God? It's kind of what I talked about before. Like, are you, uh, what are you doing behind closed doors? You're telling me you're all about God in person. Are we talking like uh, the boys here? Like that level of, <laughs> you yeah. watch the boys? Yeah. No, I've seen episode, uh, I've season seen, one. I've seen one episode. But yeah. 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 What's the guy's name? The the, the pastor that arms like, re- they, like they stretch? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, but that's all these motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, that's all I got. Rant over. Well, we can bring it in for a landing with talking about the new uh, CrossFit CEO. Yeah, that literally happened today. Are these like little like wrappers from like Kraft Singles? You guys just been eating Kraft Single cheese I, back I here? Remember, yeah, I didn't want people to know that I'm binging. You just been binging Kraft Singles I don't know what back here? Are. Is that I'm, what's going on? I think maybe they came in the socks. Oh, uh, maybe. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't no, know. Either. Probably a tea. Yeah, I don't know. It probably got fanned over no, from. No, no I have they, no clue what those rappers they, are. This, this is craft singles. This is our, our photography platform. Oh so. yeah, they look like a craft singles, or if you go to like a mom and pop donut shop, that's what they're grabbing uh, the donut yeah, with. Yeah. But yeah. that's a little small for that though. Yeah, like a Marie's. It's like that that Seinfeld episode. Can you spare a square? That's yeah. the square. Right? That's or, about this. Yeah, that's about the PCTP. In high school, my best friend. I don't want to put him on blast, but he'd just be cousin ruckus in class. And this dude, like, he had back pain, so he'd be, he's just like, and my school was a little different, so it was kind of loud. he just, like, get out of his chair and start doing, like, yoga <laughs> mid-aisle, middle right, of English class. And then, and then because we'd, like, play basketball and shit at lunch, he'd be having wipes like that for oil on his face mid-fucking <laughs> class, just, like, giving himself a <laughs> facial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, hey, you rad. gotta, you gotta, you gotta stay right. No, he stayed right. You gotta That's, stay yeah. right. Yeah, he stayed right. That's amazing. Uh, this guy, Jason Dunlop, he, he former executive with Nike, Starbucks, and The Gap. Oh, he's in it. So You're making but, money again. But in the Middle East, it's still huge market. Yeah, Dubai. Well, this is the this isn't the new CEO. This is the new. This is the new. He definitely does all the new president. owner, new, new president, president. Oh. new president. No, is there, an, is there both? Yes. Oh, the new CEO. Do you think that guy's done an awful snatch in his life? That guy's not the face of the brand. Let's put it that okay. way. Well, because he's never done an awful snatch. Look at him, poor guy. Don Fowl is that Don Fowl is the new. Okay, there we go. That dude looked jacked. Yeah. Yeah, he's jacked. He's he's done bad snatches before. Okay, so what's his? We're background? gonna get ripped yep. up for that, dude. Yep, I, now I, I'm repeating it because you repeated it. What happened? Just ripping their lifting technique. Oh yeah, it's all good. <laughs> they, it, it's like not so true anymore, but it, it's oh, and it's the same with powerlifting and weightlifting, right? You go to a guy that's lifted for two years, their lifts are gonna look like shit. But the stereotype of CrossFitters lifting like shit will last forever. You're never gonna break that joke brand. Well, because there's just so many new lifters, right? In, in the that's sport. my point. Yeah, right, for the, sure, it's the, part of it. Yeah, it, yeah. And say yeah, if you go to a uh, even though it is better now, but if you go to a small random powerlifting meet, yeah, there's going to be fucking yeah, wild it's, shit. It's, it's part of your like rite of passage, right? You got to get out of that, get out of that yeah. group. The issue everybody is everybody goes through that group and then gets out. Right, we've all been there, but CrossFit as a whole gets tied to it because even at the top level, they're racing now, so it That's, can look yeah. a little sloppy. You're done, even though a lot of them are very great technical athletes. Okay, people, and I mean that. So this guy uh, held positions at Google, Facebook, Pinterest, and most recently the CEO of Athos, which I don't know what that is. I've heard of it. Yeah, I've heard of that for sure. I don't remember what that is, though. 
BS from the Naval Academy and an MBA from CrossFit's Stanford. not public, right? That one dude just straight owns it. Yeah, well, the, the the one guy that bought it off of what's his name yeah. s- stepped down. Yeah, and then it's just whoever it. we now just saw Dunlop guy. or something. That's crazy. So this dude we're looking at right now is like the new Castro, and the other dude's like the new Glass. No, no, Castro's nope. back. Oh, really? Castro's back. I didn't know that. They rehired Castro. No way. Yeah. For the games. Or just yeah, in general? I think just in general. Wow. But also, I, I think he's still doing the game stuff. I didn't know that. Yeah, Castro's back. This guy's kind of more, I think, the the face of the brand. He's the new, um, what's the guy's name? He looks like fucking uh, uh, the main Daniel guy. Craig. He does. He's the pex of the brand. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. He's going to be more Castro's like back. the marketing face guy. And then you got the president guy. Who yeah, Castro's just back. Cash and money. I didn't know that. When did Castro come back? I'll tell you the day. Because people be were making comments on like that on the little fucking bird picture too, like this wouldn't happen under well, Castro. Like, because most of people up. who are commenting are about as up on it as you are. So. Yeah, yeah, which is sad because they're CrossFitters. Right. I'm just a dude. <laughs> or maybe they hired him back for a different position. I don't know. Possible. Yeah, maybe like programming only rather than because Castro is kind of a face. Oh, he is the face. Yeah. I mean, like when I think of CrossFit, yeah. the first person that comes to my face or comes face comes to mind yeah. is Castro. Same. And then me and you. And then, and then, obviously, Dean Storrs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was uh, June eighth. They announced that he was back. Oh, I didn't know that. Gee, Dave Recent Castro. Though. Dave Castro is returning to CrossFit HQ five months after being fired from his position as general manager. So silly. Um, blah blah blah. Just saving. This is from Morning Chalk Up. Uh, just saving face. Do you think? Do they say what they got hired for? It says still to come details of the nature of Castro's title and position. CrossFit LLC declined to comment. Blah blah blah. So much of it, and I, I have no opinion on the Castro thing. One, I could care less. But two, so much of it is just a game, right? You fire Castro because you think that's what the cancel culture wants, and then you probably read a bunch of backlash, like bring him back, and then you fucking bring him back. Like no one's making an intelligent me decision. Well, I don't think there was any. I don't think it was any coincidence, so either that Castro's firing, and then the other ceo guy like stepping down yeah, like, like like there was clearly like a hey, like that shouldn't have happened yeah or whatever right. they think but it looks like he's going to be uh, returning to work directly with affiliates in some capacity <laughs> which is <laughs> yeah that's a that's a fucking bullshit sentence every time i hear about <laughs> cancel culture i think of exactly that because no one is ever really canceled no, no one, nobody who's no, oh, no no prominent person no, chris really brown's canceled. record is fucking killing it and he's like one of the few that should be canceled. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a couple that are you're going to be constantly canceled, like uh, we- Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. I just permanently I, canceled. I don't know what podcast I was listening to that will end it on this. It, the dude had gangrene on his testicles. Who did? No. Weinstein. What? Yeah. Oh, because he's he's in a wheelchair now. Maybe it's maybe yeah. that's why. I don't know. <laughs> That'll shut you down. Thanks. You just blame that. There's no amount of TRT that can help you with gangrene on your testicles. No. TRT. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I heard. That's I'm the rumor. See the research. That's on the gangrene rumor of the gossip TRT. of the day. Yeah. Well, on that note, I, I can't think of anything beyond gangrene on the. Testicles. No, we're gonna go take some rad ass caffeine and kilos pictures now. There you go. Where can people find you, Dean? We gotta do a movie too. We were gonna do a baseball one. What baseball one were we gonna? Wasn't that the last thing we talked? Oh, we were that's supposed right. to get Kyle or Dan well, with the I baseball watched, squad. I watched that uh, most hated man on the internet. Uh, documentary on Netflix. What's that? Dude, oh, the dude from Sack that started that Are You Up website, that revenge porn website. That was like basically a cyberbullying website. Ooh, where I you would like upload photos of like maybe like yeah. a girl that sent you naked pictures, and you would put on there, and people would just like rip her apart. Yeah, that's I, basically what this website was. I, I didn't Jeez. know it was from Sack. Dude, the dude's from Sack. Dude, Good what's Lord. wrong with us? It's crazy. The watch the, the documentary is like fascinating because this dude was such a like disaster. Yeah. It's one of those, but it was weird because he was from here. He was born here. He lived in Woodland. Uh, he was born in Sacramento. Lived in Woodland. But he was like his whole goal was to be famous. So it's on. It it's on par with like social media yeah. fame. And there's just like a little bit of like I'm down. Like shady shit that they were doing to get some of these photos when there wasn't getting enough submissions, and they started uh, like basically like hacking people's uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, emails through uh, like the old school Facebook. And people still fall for it on Instagram. The, uh, hey, I'm locked out of my account. I'm yeah. going to send you a pin. Yeah. yeah. They started doing that. But, uh, this was like in 2010, 2012. Yeah. They were doing that, that same scam on on MySpace. Slime ball. Anyways, worth a watch. Yeah, that. Maybe we'll do a little baseball, but we'll do a movie soon. Um, where can people find you, Dean? Oh, you know, Caffeine and Kilos uh, on Instagram. Caffeine Kilos on Twitter that we don't use. Stuff like that. <laughs> Poor Twitter. 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, new episodes every Wednesday and Friday. Be sure to share this thing out. Um, tell your friends. 3sb.co. I'm Sal Mike. Where do you want to find me? And we'll catch you next time. I'm at the Jim McDean and all those social media. The show is 50% facts, where percent is a word, 50 is just numbers. 50% facts is a Spreaker Prime podcast. In association with iHeartMedia on the Obscure Celebrity Network that I still need to talk to Dean about. We'll talk to you next time.